Meantime, an impassioned plea from the Member of Parliament for West End and Bimini to do more and be kinder to her twin constituencies. Mukush Lapinder has that story coming out of the budget debate in Parliament. Grand Bahama is not without its challenges, and it's been that way now for years. From the economic devastation wrought by twin storms Francis and Jean in 2004, to the deathly blow of 2019's Hurricane Dorian, to now the health and economic setback of the COVID-19 pandemic. Little wonder why West Grand Bahama and Bimini MP Pakisha Parker Edgecombe's petitioning the government to invest more in the twin constituencies. Here's the current reality of West Grand Bahama and Bimini, Mr. Speaker. More jobs are desperately needed. We strongly appeal for the three major projects. The administrative complex in Pinedale, Eight Mile Rock, the junior high school in Holmes Rock, the administrative complex in Bimini to be completed. We petition for seawalls to be constructed to protect constituents in times of storms. We admonish for roads to be paved to improve commuting. We ask that our small business sector be afforded grants that were requested to develop the local economies. And while her constituents, she says, have been able to rise to the occasion time and time again, help is needed. In the five years I have as the Member of Parliament for West Grand Bahama and Bimini, there is $500,000 allocated to our office to spend in my constituency. Of that $500,000, $100,000 is given annually. Of that $100,000, $25,000 is given four times a year. Simply put, Mr. Speaker, our office has $25 to spend four times a year. $25,000 in 14 polling divisions across two separate islands with a population of more than 8,000 people. Yes, times are tough, but at the end of the day, Parker Edgecombe says they deserve more than they have gotten as there is a major disparity in what is received area to area. For the ZNS News Network, I'm Akash Lopender. Well, like most government agencies, the Broadcasting Corporation will have to make do with less this upcoming fiscal year. This in light of the request of the government to, for those corporations and companies to reduce spending by 20 percent. Parliamentary Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister, Pakisha Parker Edgecombe, hoping to get a few initiatives pushed through nonetheless. We find it necessary to complete the radio building roof at headquarters off of Collins Avenue. This project comes in at a total of $214,000. Further, Mr. Speaker, we have long-standing legacy debts, Mr. Speaker, that we need to pay off. And we admonish, Mr. Speaker, that consideration be given to assist us in achieving just that. Now, Parker Edgecombe also gave a progress report on the Bahamas Telecommunication Company's effort to restore its infrastructure in Abaco and Grand Bahama in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian. The technicians have begun the process of building a new fiber backbone in Abaco to ensure greater network resiliency. Additionally, they've also begun building a redundant subsea fiber between the Keys and Abaco Green Turtle Key, Manawar Key, Guana Key, and Elbow Key. Mr. Speaker, furthermore, BTC has also started Grand Key's restoration of microwave link and mobile services, which previously provided free Wi-Fi to all residents of Grand Key. And prior to the COVID-19 lockdown, internet capacity was upgraded to 10G. As the island of Grand Bahama continues to rebuild, Mr. Speaker, I am happy to report that in its hardest hit area, East Grand Bahama, a new containerized central office with solar powering to maintain mobile service has been deployed.